Happy Sunday. The stories we tell ourselves. I mean, I could, I mean, I'll talk about this again, I'm sure, in the future. But just the stories that we preoccupy ourselves in our spare time when we're doing something or not doing something can be more frightening than the events that are actually taking place in our lives. I, I, that's, it's, I think it's hilarious and tragic and amazing and beautiful and uh, I think tells, I think indicates how powerful our minds are that I could be sitting here doing nothing, disasterizing about some event that hasn't taken place and may most likely never take place, and I will physically wear down, diminish myself, beat myself up, and have all of the same properties as if it already happened. Shame, guilt, all that stuff. And then that will govern my future because I'm imagining an event that will never take place. I mean, on the converse, I could live in this fantasy that it's all going to take place, and maybe that's a good thing. Um, but I think the bottom line of any either one of those instances is that I'm not living in this present moment. And if I'm going to tell myself a story, best to tell a story that's at least happy <laughs> rather than, uh, you know fill in the blanks, some disasterization, some horrible, tragic, you know, drama. Um, and so often I know that I have been uh, inclined in the past to tell myself those stories. It's not likely that I'll tell myself a great story with a beautiful ending and a, you know, you know, <laughs> whatever. Um, so the breath is how I bring myself back to this present. Also speaking with my, my people that in my community that help anchor me in my present and help me tell the truth to myself. If I question the truth or I have a fantastic idea that I bounce off them and they're like, yeah, not such a good idea because I... <laughs> I will, this thing will create some incredibly tragic things for me to do dressed up as beautiful ideas. Um, yeah, so I'm sure I'll talk more about those, this thing and the stories that it tells me um, and the fantastic ideas that it comes up with. Again, much love. <laughs>